the first key to success. We gotta get rid of that wolf. A wolf. Howdy. Welcome to another Evil Within part. This is the uh, the wolf boss. It's called the Sentinel, apparently. Uh, yeah, whoever designed this monster got really carried away because it has a mouth on the side of its face, and it's covered in barbed wire. It's a little, it's a little too messed up, honestly. But there's a strategy for killing this boss, and uh, I'm going to show it to you because you might, you might. It's not a hard boss fight, but you might lose a lot of health. And if you're like me, if I take more than, you know three or four hits. I like to redo the boss fight and take as little as little damage as possible because, I don't know, I'm a perfectionist, I guess. I like to save my health items for when I need them. Um, the, I think I glitched the boss out right now because it's not charging at me, but what it'll do, it'll hide in one of these bushes. I think there's five or six bushes, and then it'll charge out from the bushes and hit you. I think it's going to do it at some point here. But uh, what you're going to want to do is stand the, on the opposite side and get a long-range weapon and snipe him. And what he's going to do there... I get hit one more time right here. Because I missed. But basically, he's going to charge at you. If you're good with the sniper, if you're far enough away, use the sniper and get him while he's beginning his charge right out of the bush. If he's close enough... Get the shotgun, okay? Now I'm a terrible sniper. I'm about to show you this technique in, in action because I know I haven't really done it so far, but this, this guy doesn't have too much health. Right here I'm going to do it. He's going to jump out of the bush. Bam! When he's charging, that's the time to shoot him. And then you can kill him with the explosive bolts. Or whatever you got. And then you get a cutscene with your with your suicidal friend. Spoilers. And then what happens is you have to you have to go back and get his glasses because he dropped them. The wolf uh, knocked him unconscious, and his glasses flew. So you got to go back and get the glasses, which is not hard at all. You can this is really easy to do. But there's also barrels and boxes you might want to break. So go forth and break those. The monster will just kind of dance around, and. Um, it won't really notice you. And at some point, Vincent is going to, um... James! I call him Vincent because he looks like the, uh, the guy from Silent Hill 3. See, he's throwing bottles which will distract the beast, so you can go ahead and explore if you want. I don't think I found anything good in these boxes. I think uh, the next ones I opened, I found nothing. But you might find some brain juice or some ammo, so go ahead and go ahead and scavenge those boxes because you know if you don't know to break those boxes open, uh, you're playing this game all wrong because there's a, there's a huge part where there's a lot of boxes and you're gonna want to break them. This is right after the uh, ogre boss fight too, and you get a nice little cutscene. It's not just about being unable to see; it's about feeling normal. It's and I cut it off. Let's focus on 